Hi, Shalom as you can see, I'm surrounded by loads of trees over here. And that's what we're talking about, about in today's page of 82 in Masechet Baba Batra over here. If someone is going to buy, let's say, buy two trees inside a specific field, but he doesn't buy the field itself, he just buys the trees. Obviously, he can take the produce from the trees. But let's say that the roots are going to die out in the tree itself, or the roots is going to finish uh, decimate. He is not going to be able to take those trees again and uh, replant with those things. But what if he buys three trees in a specific field? The land of these three trees is going to become now his. The actual land itself is when one is buying three trees together over here. It's like he owns an orchard now. So that becomes his land. So even if the produce over here in these three trees, in this area of three trees, is going to, let's just say, the root is going to be decimated because he's bought three trees. This, let's say, this kind of orchard that now becomes his property also over here. And it's got to be certain measurements over here, the trees are stipulated in specific measurements. As But you've, you're purchasing three trees is a general rule. And this is actually interesting because when you've got number three in the Torah, it's a chazaka, the num number three is. If it's number two, it's not a chazaka over here. And by purchasing trees, three of them together, it's like you've actually acquired that plot or field.